considering a matter regarding the PNC and in which the PNC had a critical interest. That, that was not the issue before the court. This court was dealing with a matter which had been brought by the then majority leader uh, in parliament, uh, or, you know, in order to get the court to reverse something that the speaker had done. So, I mean, you know, those analogies were completely uh, irrelevant. But, but more substantially, and, and I think these are some of the worrying signals, um, when you look at the ruling that the court gave, I mean, certain obvious and critical factors were simply left out of the equation. You quoted uh, the passage in which the Chief Justice talked about Article 99 of the um, Constitution, which gives the High Court uh, powers in respect of the invalidation of a parliamentary election or the determination of the vacancy of the seat of an elected member of parliament. Now, the reality is that that Article 99 has been interpreted by the Supreme Court in previous decisions, and it's been interpreted to mean that it is the High Court that has the exclusive jurisdiction. There are any number of uh, cases that have determined that, including, by the way, um, the, 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 the Sal matter, the, you know, in, in respect of Sal, which we talked about quite a bit last uh, time, the, 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 the Supreme Court determined that the High Court had exclusive jurisdiction. And the Chief Justice, at that time a Justice of the Supreme Court, was a part of that panel. In fact, when the matter went on review, she wrote the decision uh, of, the, of the Supreme Court and very clearly laid out in you know, elaborate language, Article 99 gives the High Court exclusive jurisdiction. So that's not a matter for the Supreme Court, or indeed, that's not even a matter for the High Court exercising its powers in respect of fundamental human rights. So these decisions are there. there there's more of them. I don't, I mean, I'm not giving a lecture to a law class, so I'm not going to go through those uh, uh, cases. But those cases are well known. So if the court constituted, you know, recently wanted to depart from those judicial precedents, Article 1293 of the Constitution makes it quite clear that they have got to give us reasons why those decisions that they have given previously are to be departed from. 